Hey, good afternoon, all. Thanks for joining this session. Today, I'm going to talk about the PCI add-in card manageability, out-of-band manageability. So basically, I will be talking about uh, uh, what are all the interfaces it will be using, and then the like uh, uh, with uh, some examples of the CXL related stuffs. Okay. And yeah, I mean, basically myself, uh, uh, I'm Aparo. So I'm I work at Intel uh, as a uh, firmware development architect. And uh, along with me, there are two more uh, people on this uh, uh, on this paper, who is Arun Arun PM and Hema Anmisha. Okay. And they couldn't able to make it to this meeting. I mean, uh, I'll be presenting on behalf of everybody. Okay, so yeah, uh, basically I have a bigger agenda on these things, so we, uh, so we can see like uh, I'll be touching upon the uh, basics of the Open BMC, why we need a Open BMC kind of thing, and then yeah, I'll be touching upon the what are all the ingredients that we needed for the uh, add-in cards manageability, right? So uh, they beat whether it is transport and other other information, right? So I'll be touching upon those things, and then yeah, we'll be talking about like uh, how in the system, right? So we have multiple uh, components or multiple manageable devices or multiple manageable controllers. Different things will be there in the system. So all of them, how we are going to like uh, uh, handle them, and then yeah, how, we, how it will be like manageability is important in that matters, right? And then yeah, uh, I'll be touching upon some of the uh, things which are all related to the PLDM and other things, and then the CXL, some of the things. And uh, then yeah, I'll be talking about the Redfish interface uh, uh, for those add-in cards. So basically how the Redfish, you can model it uh, on those items, okay? And Coming to the like uh, overview of the Open BMC, so I think we have most of the people who have seen that. Yeah, what is Open BMC? What is BMC? Right, it's a baseboard management controller, which is basically used for the servers managing the servers, be it in the like uh, remotely or be it in the like uh, in, I mean automatically or like monitoring and controlling some of the items into the server. Right, so all of them are will be done by the BMC. I'm not going to deep dive into those things, but yeah. Uh, and the one of the another important aspect in, in terms of OCP is something like yeah why you need a why we need to have a open source kind of thing so there are multiple reasons which is like we have something like uh, the shareable development uh, uh, efforts we can use it to, using the OCP and then the uh, yeah so it will basically with open BMC, so you'll have something like a early adoption of the like components. Uh, basically, if you look at the uh, right topmost uh, topmost uh, figure, so if you see that so open BMC is a, I mean, we are talking about the like a disaggregated platform manageability kind of thing. And uh, so in that, so how we can different components together, we will be like able to build the system without having something like uh, uh, yeah, grass dependency on those things, right? So basically OpenBMC is the one which will be like uh, creating a framework and so that, yeah, you will have anybody, any vendor who is part of this disaggregated platform manageability, be it whether it is Nix or be it whether it is the other component PSUs or anything else or the like different um, controller vendors, everybody can contribute into that particular thing. So you have an infrastructure ready for those things. So along with that, there are other advantages also there which are all listed there, but yeah. So, uh, and uh, also recently we moved into the DCSEM uh, based open BMC, which is also talked about uh, in one of the session. So for Intel, so I'm from Intel, and for Intel it's basically the open BMC is the infrastructure used for the multiple uh, components here. So you can see the Intel fabric, Intel telemetry architecture, all these uh, like uh, uh, Intel SmartNICs and then Intel accelerators and CXL cards, Intel 3D expand. All of them. So basically, we will be like using the OpenBMC so that yeah, we'll be able to reach into the like uh, uh, the um, uh, industry on the like uh, early adoption of the early adoption of the industry on those things. Okay. So yeah, jumping into that next thing, platform architecture for the add-in cards majorly. So you will see something like. Uh, uh, 
like there are in the platform there are multiple components as i spoke about that so uh, bas basically with the disaggregated platform management you will have multiple controllers which will be connecting it with be it whether it is something like nix or be it whether it is cxl cards or bx be it whether it is any other like uh, uh, add-in cards in the pcie segment right so you will see all of them so those will be like some of them are will be managed devices and some of them will be like managed controllers into that and then how we will be like communicating and then getting that information via the all those things right so sim so there are multiple inter internal protocols which will be used inter internally so i'll be talking deep uh, i'll be talking about these things in the next slide with the some slide but yeah i mean basically we will be using that uh, ipmi which was a uh, like uh, previously it's been low there for quite some time, so 20 plus years of, from now, and then yeah, uh, industry is moving towards the other other aspects of like MCDP and uh, uh, manageability, PLDM and other things. Okay. So other uh, and the other one is the external interfaces. What we have, so it's basically the Redfish is one of the inter external interface which will be used for the server manageability across uh, like uh, uh, be it whether it is something like. A, UI based uh, thing you wanted to make it or uh, a bit you wanted to use it as a CLI based approach kind of thing so you can use the REST APIs to manage the systems in the which are all internally I mean manage the system in manage the servers in terms of like uh, including the internal components in that system which is like uh, including the add-in cards in that right so yeah moving on so Basically, this is uh, uh, basically the, for the add-in card manageability. So for, uh, for example, any of the NICs or anything, if you take it, right? So basically here you can see that uh, uh, those will be like connected uh, to the uh, like uh, BMC via like, uh, uh, it could be like any interface in that, I mean, transport layer you use it, whether it is SMBus, whether it is PCIe, whether it is I3C or, whatever it is interface so mct is mctp is the one of the interface which will be like uh, uh, mctp is the protocol which is used on top of the transport layer whichever we are using it we using that so you can actually uh, all the add in cards right so you can control the add in cards and discover i mean discover the add in cards discovery in the sense like uh, what kind of add in card it is and true information in that right so i mean field repository unit in that right so basically what version of the what version of it and then oh, what all the information it was uh, showing that all of them you you should be able to get it these are all will be part of the pldm spec so uh, whatever we see here uh, control and discovery uh, protocol and through and then monitoring and then controlling of the add in cards for example if anything like uh, uh, some some of the errors are happened in the add in card how automatically you can control those uh, like uh, how automatically you can recover those systems or some some sometimes like you cannot able to recover those things so how the ras will be like doing that for example like collecting the uh, in i mean information something like that right so all of them you should be able to we should be able to do this here so using the PLDM protocol. So basically for the add-in card manageability, we will be using the MCDP as well as the PLDM here. Okay, so yeah, I mean, uh, these are all some of the links I had uh, put it together for the like uh, add-in card manageability and uh, especially what are all things we will use it here. As I spoke about that MCDP is the base specification, so uh, which is DSP0236. And then on top of that, you will have a PLDM and other things. So coming to this, right, so basically in the figure here, so you can see that uh, the physical layer of the interface, transport binding, it could be anything. It could be like a SMBus or it could be like I3C or the PCIe. On top of that, so you will have a transport layer. So what, that is where you will have something like uh, uh, the MCTP. So basically management component transport protocol, MCTP means. So MCDP has a base specification, which is the DMTF specifications. You can see it here. And then on top of that, I mean, on the, underneath that, you can see that uh, different specifications are called out for the uh, like different bindings. So by MCDP binding over SMBus binding over I3C and these things. On top of that, you will have something like a uh, PLDM. So PLDM, basically, we will be using it for the like add-in card manageability, for the monitoring and the control of the add-in cards and also the through and uh, firmware, sorry, firmware updates of the uh, add-in cards, we will be using that, okay? And the other side of it, so uh, using the MCDP, you sh we should be able to uh, get the CXL type uh, type 3 CCIE commands. So 
all of them, CC, I mean, CXL related uh, cards also should be able to uh, handle those. Okay. I have a few more slides on this uh, CXL related things. I'm just running for that. Okay. So yeah, I, most of these things I talked about that. So basically for the add-in cards, we use like PLDM inventory and telemetry related information. So where it will be connected to the BMC via the PLDM. And then, yeah, I mean, uh, there you can, you should be able to monitor the different types of sensors. It could be a metric related sensors. It could be like a state related sensors or it could be like state effectors and numeric, uh, uh, numeric and state effectors kind of thing. So all of them, so which will be like using the PLDM protocol, we should be able to get that information and then give that metrics to the like uh, the uh, orchestration firmware so that yeah, it will be like, depending on the actions, depending on the configurations, we should be able to take some actions on that, okay? And then, yeah, I mean, uh, PLDM also supports the uh, platform eventings. So, I mean, which is for the, like, uh, if there is something happened asynchronously, you should be able to log and then take some actions depending on the uh, event, right? So the, that are all information, you can use it. And in the open BMC, you have a BMC web is the one of the Redfish red, red interface which you, with, with which you should be able to externally access those things by the orchestration firmware and then grab all these add-in card information to the, like, externally. Similarly, in the PLDM firmware, uh, there is a PLDM firmware update. So basically, uh, all the add-in cards, whatever is there on the system, it will be discovered by the like BMC using the PLDM um, and the FRU and other things. And then on top of that, so once you discover that, what are the version number and other information you should be able to do. So it is basically the software inventory is the one item you should be able to get the complete uh, PLDM, uh, like uh, complete add-in card inventory information be it whether it is hardware inventory, hardware information related to the model and everything, model serial number and other thing. And similarly, you should be able to get it into the like software inventory, which is like versions, which, uh, which version of the software are running on those things, right? So using this particular thing, okay? And moving on, so the CXL, so basically, so, uh, CXL is also similar to the, like, uh, uh, you can see that in the PLDM add-in card manageability, so you can see that MCTP or PCI is the one which will be used for this CXL manageability. So using the CXL manageability, you will have something like different uh, kinds of uh, sensors, like status sensors, information and status related commands are there. And then, yeah, there are uh, other, uh, like, uh, the events, there are logs, there are uh, something maintenance, uh, such kind of things you should be able to get it using this particular CXL from the CXL devices. And then similar to that other one, you should be, we should be able to uh, expose that over the Redfish here. And similarly, yeah, whenever there is something like a, a RAS related function, RAS related uh, operations, right? For example, PPR maintenance or SPPR or HPPR, something like that. Uh, something like that, right? So all those inform, uh, all those things we should be able to get that and configure that using the BMC auto band management. So these are all the CXL uh, component commands. So basically, information and status commands, which is basically used for used for identifying the what is kind of uh, what kind of CXL card it is, and then what are the capabilities of that card, and then the uh, different kinds of I mean, we can set that depending on the transport layer what we are using SMS or PCI or I3C or depending on that, you should be able to set that some limits to that particular thing. And then the events is something like, yeah, uh, whenever there is some, uh, something happens on that particular CXL cards, you should be able to grab that, uh, like, and get that events and then uh, log into the, like, uh, uh, log it uh, in the BMC. Similarly, firmware updates is another one, so uh, which will be supported. And then the, uh, I mean, timestamp, you can get and set the timestamp of that add-in card. CXL, I mean, uh, and then the logs. Uh, and features is something like, yeah, what kind of features it is supporting. We know that there are some, some new features are added into the CXL 3.1, which are all related to the, uh, like, um, uh, PBR and uh, uh, port-based routing and then hierarchical-based routing kind of things, right? So all of them, and also the like uh, different, uh, uh, I mean, there is one more thing here, I, I didn't add that, but it is something like a device management control uh, components, APIs, and also the fabric management is another one which will be a part of this command tool. So all of them, so we should be able to uh, get it to, uh, to the BMC using the previous, uh, the internal interfaces. Okay, so yeah, I mean, 
And the final one, so final present, final slide on these things. So basically, the redfish modeling is the one which we can do, do that. So basically, depending on the relationship, what we have with the CXL card. So it could be like under the charges you have CXL card, or it could be something like a, the systems you have, a, a, I mean, a CXL card. So depending on that, so there are PCI devices which is already like mentioned in the, uh, like uh, uh, already uh, uh, part of this thing. Under the PCI devices, you will see something like CXL logical device collections. It could be in the systems or charges. And then on, the, on top of that, so you will have something like uh, the CXL device information. So under that, yeah, you will have all the, whatever the previous slide, I'm showing it, something like logs, collected logs, or the events, or whatever it is. So all of them, you should be able to map it using this particular uh, tree matrix, OK? And similarly, yeah, CXL card firmware updates is also can be done. And then firmware inventory also, you should be able to, we should be able to get it using that particular interface. And similarly, yeah, there are, if there are some adding card sensors, you, you will be able to map it accordingly. And security, so basically, uh, I'm not deep diving into these things. So SPDM is the one which will be used on top of the MCTP for the security, uh, I mean, uh, adding card security related things. So we should be able to use this, uh, SPDM on top of it. So call to actions, basically, so it's, uh, uh, yeah, it's a, Open source standards, whatever we are using, I talked about multiple standards here, multiple DMTF standards and multiple CXL standards, multiple uh, DM, uh, sorry, uh, PMCA specifications are I talked about. So please do contribute into that to your capacity. It could be in, the, in terms of development, it could be in terms of like uh, giving the feedbacks or it could be like enabling the industry kind of thing, right? So whatever, uh, so OpenVMC is another one which we mostly work on this and then for the disaggregated platforms, OpenVMC contribution is another one which, we are, which I'm calling out for the contributions. And with that, I'll leave it for the questions. I think I am already running one minute. Oh. So is there any questions? Yeah. Basically, there are uh, maintenance commands are there, okay, okay. So and the CXL, yes. So under that, you should be able to inject the errors, and then, yeah, see that, uh, I mean, basically, you can monitor those particular things. Okay, good. Nothing. Thank you all. Thanks for attending.